Much of the country, as we mentioned, right now is facing this heat wave, including all of southern Wisconsin. Our Kyle Pazorski reports on how firefighters are dealing with the hot summer conditions, in addition to carrying their more than 70 pounds of gear when responding to emergency calls. It's no secret, battling fires is a tough task. I mean, the job's not easy, everyone knows that. From wildfires to residential calls, the men and women who serve our communities require bulky, protective gear to keep them safe from falling debris, smoke, and of course, fire. Otherwise, it's gonna, it has the potential to burn our, our firefighters. And it's no small ask for them to carry it all day in and day out. Once all that gear is on, uh, typically you're in around the 70-pound around the mark. The weight of the gear is bad enough, but add temperatures reaching the 90s, and it makes the conditions even even worse for firefighters. We're lucky to have the four seasons here in, in Madison, Wisconsin, but um, the weather really takes a, a toll on the firefighters. Even a firefighter's jacket can wear anyone down in this weather, as I found out. Are you hot looking at me right now? Because I'm hot. <laughs> Um, I don't have to wear that as much any anymore. In Janesville, Deputy Chief John McManus is working to train four new recruits. He says the course, which typically takes place during spring and fall, is being adapted to keep the future staff safe. We're modifying the repetitions of what they're doing, making sure they get extra breaks. We have a cooling tent on site, and we're going through a lot of water. And managing the heat, as it turns out, is just a necessary part of the job. A fire is going to raise their core body temperature, no matter what the temperature is, and we have to manage that safely. If you would like to submit a weather question for Beyond the Barometer, you can email them to tips at channel3000.com.